Just a warning up front, this is a DIY hack, so you follow what I did at your own risk. I'm not a, a qualified Ray Marine technician or anything like that, just a boat owner wanted to get his old system working again. Hey guys, Ray from Love Your RV and Boat. Uh, I decided to show you a little hack I did to the, the autopilot system when the remote control failed. So this is a Ray Marine autopilot and you can set your course and then hit auto and it will follow that course automatically which is very handy when you're uh, going in a straight line for a long time. So this is the, the unit on the lower helm which we rarely drive for a man's usually piloting on the flybridge. So it came with this wireless remote that you take up to the flybridge and then you can adjust your course settings and stand by or, or set the autopilot on. Only problem is this thing quit. She had uh, accidentally dropped it up on the flybridge and it stopped working. It just said no pilot. It would come on, couldn't find the base station and would say no pilot. So I kind of took it apart the first time it happened and had a look at this board. See there's a lot of uh, components on it and circuits and I kind of messed around with it and kind of flexed it a bit and all of a sudden bingo it started working again so I put it together and it actually worked for the rest of that trip but then we were on the next trip out same thing happened it wouldn't work and I tried the same thing couldn't get it to work at all so I decided to kind of do a hack so that she could be able to pilot it from above um, kind of looked at the unit and uh, out the back of the unit there was two plugs. One went down to a power board, I'll show you that. The other one went to this. Wire went into this thing and I guess that would be the, the wireless uh, repeater for this and this. So let me just show you where the autopilot main control is. Covered in here. And just up here, had a look, and I could see, I traced the wire back, and the wire that went to the autopilot came here. There's a power fuse right here. So I knew there, and measured that, there was 12 volts, and then there's a ground wire, and then the yellow wire, I imagine, is the control wire. And you can see there's a light on when the autopilot is on. So I only had three wires to deal with. So this is what I did. I went back to the main unit. There was a couple screws on the back. I pulled it out. And on the back here, I could see where it was plugged in. Red, gray, and yellow. And then, it's, you can't see it now, but there was another plug on the other side that went to this little control box. So I thought, well, if I could uh, take that wire that goes to the control box and wire it up to the flybridge, and then I could have this unit and take it up to the flybridge and use it in two places. So that's what I've done back here where that wire comes from the power supply. Just used some lever nuts and spliced in my own wire that I ran up to the flybridge. So let me show you the wire I used. I had a fairly long run of wire kicking around from a dash kit or a, a wireless camera system power line. This was used to, for a, a different application. So what I did is I only needed three wires, so I combined the black and the, and the bare wire and I combined the two whites and the green and the red so that I had three wires. Just doubled them up so they have more current carrying capacity to match the, the gauge on the original wires there. And then I ran that wire along. There was these wires are for solar panels and the, the radar and they go up behind the flybridge and then I'll go up there and show you where they where it pops out. So yeah this just unplugs just like that. 
So then we can take that unit up to the flybridge. And we'll show you up there. I'll plug it in. So here's the flybridge helm. So without the autopilot, she has to constantly be kind of correcting course, especially if it's wavy. So she's constantly doing this, correcting the boat's course. So that's kind of a hassle for her, especially if we're just going in a straight line for, say, an hour and a half as we're, we're going along a passage. So she was quite happy when I kind of made this little hack for her. So the wire from below, this is the Ray Marine chart plotter. And it came up through here, so I did the same thing, brought that wire up. And it has enough length to come out of there and just go around here. And then we made a little mount. It just plugs in the back like the one below. And there you go. Everything's working. She can adjust it from up here. So then I needed a, a thing so it's convenient so she can use it, a mount. So what I did is I had some more stuff from rear camera stuff. I had, I had a suction cup here. And what I did, there it came with a magnet. So there, behind there, there's a round magnet that's used to mount wireless cameras with. And the other side of the mat magnet I stuck on there with 3M tape. So now she just has to go like this. And she's got a magnetic mount on that uh, suction cup and it's actually can be adjusted to whatever angle she needs. And there you go. Now she can just be sitting there and she's on standby. She can go auto and then she can do different course corrections. And then you can see the wheel adjusting. Pretty cool. So the reason I did this is uh, that little wireless remote is hard to get. This is an old system, maybe 15 or 20 years. Kind of went online. They seem to be available on eBay and different places, but they're looking at five or six hundred dollars for that little remote control. So I think we might be able to just stick with this system because it works quite well. This thing looks pretty waterproof actually. Buttons on it and everything. But if it starts to rain hard, then we go downstairs anyway, so she can just unplug this and take it downstairs and use it there. Anyway, I thought I'd post that in case this problem has happened to someone else and they, they can't afford to get that little remote control or can't find it. Or also it uses batteries, so it's constantly, you have to make sure the batteries in it are okay. It takes a couple AAA batteries. <laughs> That's because the that's because we're at anchor, so we we keep spinning around. <laughs> anyway, till next time, Ray from Love Your RV and Boat. Cheers, everyone.